Hey everyone, it is Sunday, August 6th. The time is 5.04 p.m. and it's about 19 degrees Celsius. And I am here in Paris. And this is an entrance to Chatelet Station, which serves the Metro Line 1, 4, 7, and 11. And they have line it looks like 14 crossed off there, as well as the RER lines A, B, and D. And I believe those are commuter rail lines. And this here is Rue de Rivoli. And I apologize for my mispronunciations of the French language. And off in that direction is the famous Louvre Museum. But for this one, I'll be heading over to another entrance to Chatelet Station. And going for a metro ride six stops away to Saint Placide. And that is on line four. This is my last full day in Paris. And I figured it's about time I did a video showing off the metro system here. And in case you couldn't tell, this area is pretty much tourist central. And the station I'm heading into opened back in 1900. And the Paris Metro system has 227 kilometers of track with 302 stations. And the different lines feature various rolling stock including some with the famous rubber tires. You'll also see that in the Montreal Metro, and I think Mexico as well. And I have no idea what to expect on this line we're heading to. And you can see the classic Art Nouveau styled station entrance. So I'm gonna head in here and make my way to line four. Hopefully, get on the line going in the right direction. I probably won't record the actual subway ride itself, or I guess Metro. It can be a bit awkward being in close quarters with other people with the camera running. So according to this, I wanna go left here for line four. In fact, when would you go right? It says go left for everything. Looks like this is closed off in that direction. And there you have a map of Paris. Let's see if we can figure this out. I do have a five day unlimited pass for zones one to three. And that sent me back 43 or 44 euros, I believe. Per trip, I think it's 2.1 euros. But you could come here and buy your ticket in English. Uh, this one assumes you already have a pass, I guess. That's a charging station. These are the ones where you buy a new ticket. Since they're all occupied, I won't make anyone wait while I show you what they are like, but they're simple enough. There's a manual ticket booth to help you out. And it looks like I want to go left here. And I'm heading towards Bagno. So you have your ticket. It's kind of flimsy, not much of a souvenir. You feed it in, you pull it out, and the gates pop open. You definitely don't want to lose this. And that wouldn't be a smart idea. A 
All right, so <laughs> it says La Defense. And number four, so I want to go this way. There we go. So we got to head down to the Line 1 platform first, and it tells you all the next stops, as well as where you can transfer to. Take a look at the Line 1 platform here. They do have the platform edge doors installed. And these are those rubber tire trains that you'll also see in Montreal. And you'll see there's a lot of windows on the trains. Pretty clear to see that the Montreal Metro was strongly inspired by this one. I don't want to stand in anyone's way, so I'll get moving here. Although, if you couldn't tell, these stations are an accessibility nightmare. I guess when you have 302 stations, Going back as early as 1900, retrofitting them isn't going to be cheap or easy, although a lot of the newer stations are accessible. And these stations have so many interchanges. A lot of times you find yourself going up and down several flights of stairs. Well, this one, I believe, is where I want to go. And trains run between 5.30 to 1.15 pretty much every day except Saturday. And then on Saturdays they run till just after 2. Well, Saturdays and before certain holidays. That says Direction Bagnou. And some of these platforms are quite short. And sometimes there's signs telling you how long till the next train rolls in, but no such luck here. But I find the wayfinding is pretty simple in general. There's a look at the inside of the train. They're generally a bit more cramped than what we're used to in North America. But I will resume once we get to our destination at St. Placide, which is six stops away.
There we go. St. Placide Station. I have no idea what exit I want. There's a number of bus connections at that exit. Let's go out exit number one. Some of the metro trains here, you actually have to manually open the door yourself, which is something I've never really seen anywhere else before. There you can see a very circular design to a very extensive metro system. And this station is in the 6th arrondissement in Paris. And apparently it's the 163rd busiest station out of 302. And this one dates back to 1910. Again, you can see it is not very accessible. But let's head on up to street level. So that would be taking you off in the other direction. And here's those ticket machines. So you can use the roller to go down, except you choose you don't have a pass. And you can buy tickets. I don't know if the glare is working, but that's what I did, Paris visit. I did five day zones one to three, full fare, oh, 43.3 euros, although that does not include the airport and Disneyland. I don't know if my memory is playing tricks on me, but I think there was a very similar cafe to that right at the entrance of Chatelet Station. And there is a very rare sight in Paris, a high rise, one not in the central business district. And these tickets do work on the buses and don't be afraid to take the bus if Google suggests that you do. I found that's to be the best way to plan your routes. Just put in where you are and where you're going. And it's been pretty good at finding multiple options. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed this quick ride through the Montreal Metro as I jaywalk. I'm going to stop recording, get my bearings, bearings, <laughs> bearings, and be on my way. But let me know your thoughts and comments down below. That's certainly, I've only been here for five days, but it's certainly been one of my favorite metro systems. I think it is up there in my top three with Tokyo and Seoul. I think Seoul is hands down my favorite metro system in the world. And this might have just displaced Tokyo as my second favorite. I like the fact that it's entirely integrated, whereas Tokyo has different lines run by different companies, so your ticket wouldn't always get you on everything. I remember buying a Suica card there, and I couldn't access all the lines, although that was quite a while ago. Maybe they've rectified that. I need to get my ass back to Tokyo, but anywho, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and what you think of the Paris Metro if you've ever ridden it. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account, at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. And I should have mentioned, but that covered an absolutely tiny fraction of the Metro, just one line out of many. And I think there's four more lines under construction.
Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Au revoir.